Okay, we have spun up to about 7,800-7,900 RPM, half-inch cutter, and we shall see how this goes. And I'm going to push start. I may have to again stop periodically and brush some chips away or some such thing. So it just might be kind of a uh, ugly video by the time I'm done, but. It is what it is. Again, this will be adaptive clearing, so it should kind of make some circles as it goes into the material. millimeter depth. Actually, that's, now that I'm looking at it, that's a thousand millimeters uh, per minute. So we're cutting at 40 inches a minute on this. lubricant on there and we're going to go in for a second pass. I believe there's only two passes on this particular tool pass. Clearly I can't remember what I programmed there because I thought the speed was slower. and take a look at what we got. All right. Okay, so again, that was probably faster than you would normally want to run doing something like that, but it was fun to do. All right, so there's our results. Oh, by the way, I, the servos on this really haven't been tuned or anything, so this is, like I said, kind of, it was kind of a dirty build, but there you go. Um, you can see that even with a half inch cutter and that face cutter that we used uh, with the TAG and the uh, BT-30, you can get some genuinely real work done and you could use this for commercial application.